So which one of you cockroaches killed Razor and torched our camp? Okay then, I'll just return the favor. Shank is back and he's still just as angry and vengeful as ever. Clay Entertainment and Electronic Arts are bringing back the man of a few words but many weapons with an all new story filled with more than your fair share of devastating and absolutely vicious ways of disposing foes. He's after the people who have done him wrong and he wants to take them out by any means possible. Shank 2 builds upon what made the first game such an interesting experience by giving gamers more of what they loved, fixing what they didn't, and offering so much more in between. Fans should expect a larger, more engrossing story with new environments, characters assist, and get in the way, and a few other surprises. Whereas the popularity of the first game was based on the vicious ways in which you could defeat foes, Shank 2 takes it up a notch in a number of different ways. Your arsenal of weapons has opened up with Shank being able to choose from even more weapons. The other new feature is the ability to counter enemy attacks. If an exclamation mark hovers above an enemy's head, Shank can grab the character and quickly turn the tables when timed correctly. While it can be quite satisfying to kill foes with your own gun, it can be even more enjoyable watching their lives end with their own guns and by their own hands. Shank 2 also looks to address the issues that hampered the first game with tighter controls and wider range of combat. The counter system certainly opens up to combat and emphasizes the necessity to not simply button mash your way through a given area. The tighter controls are clearly evident, especially in regards to your firearms. Shank can now aim at a full 360 degree radius, thus allowing for more accurate shots. No longer will you have to reposition him to take out those foe leaping towards him or unknowingly waiting below. This wouldn't be a sequel if it just offered a new story and a few other minor tweaks. Shank's second adventure includes a multiplayer survival mode that features multiple maps and frantic situations. As in survival mode seen in retail games, the name of the game is lasting as long as possible as wave upon wave of foes try to kill you and your partner, as well as destroy the map. Here you're not only trying to stay alive and defeat the different enemies, but you must stop them from blowing up the map and neutralizing those bomb planting foes will be quite a challenge. You'll be able to customize your characters in a number of different ways, and as you progress, the ability to purchase additional items, such as turrets and mines, should help you stay alive longer. Falcone, Shank's friend and co-star from the first game's co-op campaign, returns along with a new female character that is yet to be revealed. But regardless of who you choose, communication with your partner will be key if you hope to fight against the deeper waves of enemies. Hacking, slashing, and shooting your foes will only get you so far. The true key to success will be coordination, proper item placement, and timing. Expect to see more bloody content as we approach launch. Shank makes his return to the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC in early 2012. For more on Shank 2, be sure to check out our written preview.